So here's another example that we are required to find the value of x. And as you can see from our expression, uh, the x's that we have are within the nested square roots. So the first thing that you want to do is to make sure that you work from the innermost square roots going outside. And we know for a fact that if we have got the square root of x, for an example, this is the same as x raised to the power of half. So you are going to start by uh, simplifying the innermost square root. And uh, uh, this is going to give us, uh, we are just basically going to change this expression, the square root of x, into x to the power of half. So that means that our expression is going to be the square root of x <coughs> into the square root of x multiplied by x to the power of half. So what we did is to eliminate this innermost square root. But if you look at uh, this expression here, we have got the same basis. So when we are multiplying the same basis, we add their exponents. So we are going to say uh, the exponent of this one is 1, and the exponent of this one is half. So we're going to add their exponents since they're having the same basis, so this is over 1. And then we take the common, lowest common multiple of 1 and 2, which is 2. 1 into 2 goes 2 times 2 times 1 is 2, plus 2 into 2, 1. 1 multiplied by 1 is 1, so this is going to be 3 over 2. So the next step will therefore be, let us not forget that this is uh, equal to 9. Uh, the next step will therefore be the square root of x into the square root of, we take the same base and then we use this exponent. So this is going to be uh, x to the power 3 over 2 is equal to 9. Now that we have eliminated the first um, or the innermost square root, we go to the inner square root. So well, this is going to change from being uh, the square root into the exponent of half. So in the end we are going to have x to the power of 3 over 2, which is this expression which is inside, multiplied by half. So 3 multiplied by 1 is just going to remain as 3. 2 multiplied by 2 is going to be 4. So in the end we are going to have x to the power 3 over 4. So our next expression will therefore be x, which is this one, multiplied by this one, x to the power 3 over 4 is equal to 9. And then we simplify whatever we have within the brackets or whatever we, think we have within the square root further. So we have got the same basis, we add their exponent. So we are going to add this exponent and you know this is to the power of 1. So this is going to be um, 1, which is this one, plus 3 over 4, which is this one. And this is over 1, so the lowest common multiple is going to be 4. 1 into 4 goes 4 times 4 times 1 is 4 plus 4 into 4, 1, 1 in multiplied by 3 is going to be 3. So this is going to be um, 7 over 4. So in the end we are going to have our x to the power 7 divided by 4 within the square root. So this whole expression is going to be this. So this is going to be the square root of x to the power 7 over 4 is equal to 9. So even in this step, we are going to eliminate the square root by changing uh, the square root into the power of half. So this whole expression, we are going to take this and say x to the power of 7 divided by 4 into brackets raised to the power of half. So 7 multiplied by 1 is going to give you 7 
4 multiplied by 2 is going to give you 8. So in the end we are going to have x to the power 7 over 8. So our next step will therefore be x to the power 7 over 8 is equal to 9. But remember we are looking for the value of x. So we have to get rid of our, the exponent of 7 over 8. So in order for us to do that, we multiply both sides, the left hand side and the right hand side with the reciprocal of the exponent of x. So this is basically going to be x to the power 7 over 8 multiplied by 8 over 7. So we sort of um, flipped the exponent uh, on the left hand side so that we can get rid of this one because 8 is going to cancel with this 8 and then 7 is going to cancel with this and then we're going to be left with x to the power of 1 which is basically x. So this is equal to 9 to the power of 8 over 7. So our x will therefore be equal to 9 to the power 8 over 7. This will be our answer. Thanks for watching.